How receptive are uh, pro-level players to, to uh, coaching, specifically like skating coaching? Do they have the time for it? Um, it's, it's, it's like, in my mind, I know maybe the analogy is a little harsh, but if, if, if you're a smoker and you want to quit smoking, it's got to come from within yourself. Yeah. You know, and uh, of course, skating is not the most fun part. But if you're a pro, you should know where your weaknesses are. And when it comes internally and when it comes from the player, yeah. you can do definitely a lot of change to the mechanic of the stride. You can't never change the fiber of the muscle of the guy, but you sure. do can change the mechanic of a guy. Uh, when he, the guy is told to come and work on his skating, it's never really as fun. Yeah. <laughs> but when you're yeah. a pro, you should know. And most of them, I'd say 95% of them are pros. And that's why they're there. So it's, uh, yeah, you can make a difference. And it's very specific to the guy also. Yeah. You know, at this stage, the level of their skating, nobody has the same weaknesses. So if, if a player is able to identify their weakness, then the result comes faster. I know that you had a hand in helping Strudwick learn how to skate on a different set of skates. Yes. We're going to save that, though, for the next. So first, let's finish <laughs> off this one, okay? All right.